Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. If you have plans this afternoon, no weather issues around. Our main issues start late tonight through tomorrow morning. Let's talk about it on the threat tracker. So we're in the green category today. Some light rain showers start this evening. That would be pretty much it. And then tomorrow morning, that's where we're going to see the rain change over to snow with some slick roads. Uh, for the morning commute. Not too big in terms of accumulations. We'll talk about that in just a second. It's more of a timing inconvenience rather than a snowfall amount issue. By tomorrow evening, back into the green category, although we'll be watching carefully for the potential of some black ice as those temperatures start to fall. Easton's Beach right now in Newport. Gray skies, still some snowpack on the ground there. Gray skies also in Providence, but not feeling all that bad. 43 is your temperature. It feels like 36 with a wind out of the southwest at 14 miles an hour. Already some snow showing up to our northwest here in western Massachusetts, but we're going to get our turn at the snow after midnight, so this doesn't actually get through. We start with the rain showers first. I'll explain why in just a second. 45 your temperature in North Kingstown right now, and in Smithfield we're at 45. So notice this tongue of milder air now starting to move in. We have the cold air here across the Great Lakes, but as this front inches a little closer, it does suck in this mild air first, then the cold moves on through. You can actually see where that front is with the precipitation as well. We get this milder, rainier side of the system first, and that scoots through later on this evening through the overnight hours. In fact, we can time that for you hour by hour. This is 6 p.m. I don't see anything all that heavy falling for the evening commute. In fact, along the south coast, you may see rain free conditions, but some scattered showers here and there. It does fill in after midnight when a lot of you are probably already sleeping. And then early tomorrow morning, right after 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, that's when we will start to see snow north and west of 295. We could even see that start a little bit earlier, maybe after 11 p.m. or midnight, four places like Pasco, Burville, and even the Smithfield and North Smithfield. And then everyone changes over to snow early tomorrow morning. So by 7 o'clock in the morning, it's pretty much snow for Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Light to moderate for the most part. There may be some briefly heavy periods, but it's not expected to fall at tremendously heavy snowfall rates. And then by late tomorrow morning, this is gone. Now, I did want to show you sort of our amounts we're expecting, not in the form of a map. We're going to show you this instead because everybody pretty much expected to fall in that coating to two inch range and some slow stick travel obviously possible. And then as we go later tomorrow morning, so keep in mind, this is when the snow is already on the ground. The snow is pretty much stopped, but by late morning into the evening, temperatures dropping below freezing, especially after sunset. So we could have some patchy black ice and we'll keep you updated on that. As for the commute this evening, no major issues, some light rain showers, temperatures right around 40 degrees, but wipers and lights a good idea, especially if you're in an area where the rain is falling overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. The rain changing the snow temperatures near freezing and then falling below freezing into the early morning hours of tomorrow. Seven day future cash shows we may actually get a little bit of sunshine late tomorrow morning through the afternoon behind that snow. And then on Saturday, check out what's happening with our low temperature. Nine is your actual temperature. Wind chills near zero could actually see some below zero wind chills very early on Saturday morning. Recovery slightly into Saturday afternoon with temperatures around 27. Then on Sunday into Monday, this looks more like a wet system than a white system, but some light snow likely at first on Sunday, changing over to rain Sunday night into Monday. That's, of course, the day of the big game mm. when you may be going over to someone's house to watch the games. So we'll be watching that situation carefully for you as well, Danielle. All right, Pete, thank you. And now we want to let you know we're working on live at five tonight. Coverage of the